With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, today's question is Some money is to be distributed equally among children of a locality. If there were 8 children less, everyone will get 10 more. And if there are 16 children more, then everyone will get 10 less. So, what is the total amount of money to be distributed? Alright, so we are given a scenario of a locality in which we have to distribute some money between some children, among some children. And they have given us two conditions that if 8 children are less out of the total children, then everyone will get what? 10 more, 10 rupees more in the amount. And if the children are greater than the total number of children, greater in number 16, okay. So, if the total is x, then if the total number of children is x plus 16, then in that case, everyone will get rupees 10 less. So, now we have to find the total amount of money to be distributed. Now, let us start with the solution. So, we will say that let the total, let the total number of children let the total number of children be x. Let the money, let the money given to each child, each child is equal to rupees y. Okay. So, total money would be what? Total money would be, see, if total number of children are x and each one is getting rupees y. So, we will multiply these two to get the total amount. So, we can write here x into y. Now, when 8 children are less, 8 children are less. That means, number of children in this case, when 8 children are less, will be number of children will be x minus 8 out of total 8 are less okay so x minus 8 now if 8 children are less it was given that everyone will get rupees 10 more so amount each child will get will be equal to rupees Previously, it was y. Now, as 8 children are less, so everyone will get 10 more. So, y plus 10 rupees. Alright. Now, the total amount in this case would be what? See, when x children were there and y was the amount to be given, that time total was multiplying these two. Similarly, here also, when children are 8 at x minus 8 and rupees are y plus 10, here also to find the total amount, we have to multiply. So, the total amount will be 8 minus x minus 8 into y plus 10 all right so now see this is also total amount and this is also total amount so we can equate these two so we get here x minus 8 into y plus 10 is equated with x into y so on multiplying the brackets here we get x y x is multiplied by y then this x is multiplied by 10 so plus 10x and this minus 8 is multiplied with y so minus 8y this minus 8 is multiplied by 10 so minus 80 is equal to xy so solving this we get xy minus 8y minus 80 is equal to 0 this xy and xy have got cancelled so this can also be written like this 10x minus 8y is equal to 80 and now I am giving this as equation number 1. Now this was the first case when 8 children were less. Now the second case which was given to us was if 16 children were added more. 16 children more. So here number of children would be total was x now 16 more are added so x plus 16 so amount each one will get is what amount that each one will get is 10 less so 
y minus 10 rupees this is the amount so this is the amount and also we were having the total amount when x and y was the number of children and the amount so we are equating this with x y so equating this we get See here first we can uh, find here directly the total amount. So we are writing here total amount. Its total amount would be what? X plus 16 into Y minus 10. Okay. So from here now we will equate it. So on equating uh, this with X, Y we get here X plus 16 into y minus 10 is equal to x y why we have equated because x y also was the total amount of, of we have seen that and this is also total amount so total amount is equated with total amount now in multiplying this we get x y minus 10 x minus uh, plus 16 y minus 160 is equal to x y xy and xy will get cancelled so here we are left with minus 10x plus 16y is equal to 160 this is equation number 2 now we are going to add equation 1 and 2 so adding equation 1 and 2 equation uh, 1 was 10x minus 8y is equal to 80 and equation 2 is minus 10x plus 16y is equal to 160. So on adding these we get 10x and minus 10x will get cancelled. So this will get cancelled. So we are left here with minus 8y plus 16y is equal to 80 plus 160. Okay. So minus 8y plus 16y will give us 8y, positive 8y and 160 plus 80 is equal to 240. So from here we can say that the value for y will be equal to 240 divided by 8 which is equal to 30. Now this y is equal to 30. We are going to put this value, put y value in equation number 1. So putting the value for y in equation number 1 we get here 10x is equal to 80 plus 8y this was equation number 1 so here I will put y is equal to 30 so it will become 10x is equal to 80 plus 8 into 30 will give us 240 so x will be equal to 320 divided by 10 which is equal to 32. So now we have got the value for y, we have got the value for x. Now we were asked to find the total amount. So the total money is equal to xy. Okay, total money was what? It was xy. So we are putting the values here. x is 32 into 30, which is equal to 960 rupees. So this is the required answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.